quantum levitation. It's a process where scientists use the properties of quantum physics to levitate an object over a magnetic source. The reason this works is something called the Meissner effect and magnetic flux spinning. The Meissner effect is the expulsion of a magnetic field from the interior of a material that is in the process of becoming a superconductor, losing its resistance to the flow of electrical currents when cooled below a certain temperature called the transition temperature, and that's usually close to absolute zero. While quantum locking may seem similar to the Meissner effect, it's actually very different. The quantum levitation process becomes far more intriguing through the process of flux pinning, or quantum locking. Flux pinning occurs when flux vortexes are prevented from moving within the bulk of the superconductor so that the magnetic field lines are pinned in those locations. In flux pinning or quantum locking, materials are thin enough that the magnetic fields actually pass through the object. Because of this pass-through, flux tubes emerge. These are the forces that trap the object in what seems to be midair. It's a really awesome effect having superconducting material appear to magically float at a locked height above the magnetic surface. It's very distinct from traditional magnetic levitation. The object can be moved, rotated, tilted, and it stays locked in midair. For the totality of this process to work, scientists have required the use of superconductors and extreme cold temperatures. However, there's currently no evidence that says room temperature superconductors cannot exist. They just simply have not been discovered yet. These are interesting things with JC.